Fox News engaged in straight up 100% propaganda. Fox News and Jesse Waters engaged in 100% fake news. Now, I saw this on Sunday on the Foxes, and I was totally blown away. I couldn't believe this. On the Foxes. You guys, I'm sure many of you that are watching, listening right now, you are fans of Waters World. Jesse Waters, part of the uh, the stars of one of the stars of The Five that airs at four. PM Texas time. Now, what are the only two programs, you know, infotainment programs that they don't repeat during the day? They don't, they don't do a replay of, of the five, and they don't do a replay of Martha McCallum the story for whatever reason. Um. So Jesse Waters also has a second program, as many of you know, that airs on Sundays. Channel surfing wasn't anything good on so I went over to the Foxes and uh, there was Waters World his program and towards the end of the program he does a feature or um, a segment I, I, I guess it's meant to have some levity to it uh, Jesse Waters whenever he delivers the news no matter how hard-hitting there, there always seems to be just a, a, a slight tinge of levity to it heavy sarcasm but a slight tinge of levity he does it in a light-hearted way he's not a mark levin that you know tries to rip the juggler out so barbara streisand now now in this segment in this segment barbara streisand has made a controversial comment, a controversial comment about women who vote for Donald Trump. And I'm going to play the segment for you. But really don't worry about Don, uh, Jesse Waters or don't worry about the conversation dealing with Barbara Streisand, Barbara, B-A-R-B-R-A. The only person I know in the world that spells Barbara B A R B R A, bar, bra, Streisand. Don't worry about all of that. I want you to focus on the couple that Jesse Waters is interviewing. I want you to focus on the couple named Chris and Holly Turner. Because we have to talk about what Jesse Waters did and we have to talk about what Fox News allowed. It's straight propaganda. It's straight propaganda fake news. And I'm going to tell you how and I'm going to tell you why. First, check out the video. This aired Sunday night on Fox News, Waters World, Jesse Waters. If you're a woman who voted for Donald Trump, turns out you're too stupid to make your own decisions. Oh, oh, oh by the way, if you want to see the video, I'm gonna, you can see it uh, on the YouTube channel and uh, on Facebook Live. Um, you'll be able to see it, but, but here's the segment and, and it's crazy. According to Barbara Streisand, who told the Daily Mail, quote, I love my country and it's painful to see democracy being assaulted, institutions being assaulted and women being assaulted. A lot of women vote the way their husbands vote. They don't believe enough in their own thoughts. Maybe uh, that woman who's so articulate, so experienced, and so fit for the presidency, Hillary, was too intimidating. Wow. Holly and Chris Turner, married, who both support Donald Trump and voted for him, join me now. Okay, the first thing I want you to recognize and realize, look at the backdrop. Look at the background, okay? The backdrop is the White House. Whether they did a green screen or it's actually a backdrop, you know, like, you know, big thing like this, big banner, floor banner that's, that's acting as, act, as a backdrop. Okay, notice married couple, Trump supporters, DC in the background. Let's start with you, Holly. Did your husband tell you to vote for Donald Trump? Absolutely not, Jesse. I mean, I don't. 
don't let my husband tell me what type of creamer to put in my coffee. Never mind who to vote for. I mean, is this the stupidest thing Barbara Streisand has ever said? Well, it's and a long you, list. Can, can, but do we know of any woman who has actually said that she voted for the person that her husband told her to vote for? I, no one has come forward that I know of. I mean, this is she is stuck in the 19, I was going to say 1960s, <laughs> but probably even farther back than that. I mean... I, I don't I don't think in this day and age, in 2018, we have Beyonce, you have Hillary, all these powerful women and the Me Too movement and everything, that a husband can tell any wife what who to vote for. I mean, I know so many husbands that are whipped themselves. Okay, Chris. so the thing, the they, thing I mean, that I want to really emphasize here is you don't know who these people are other than they are supposedly a married couple that are Trump supporters. That's all you know. Married couple, Trump supporters. You don't know where they are from. You don't know what they do. You don't know anything about them except they're a married couple and Trump supporters. Well, I've got news for you, saints and patriots. I know who Chris Turner is and who Holly Turner is. I know who they are. And I'm going to tell you who they are. And I think what Jesse Waters and Fox News has done here is straight up propaganda. I was discussing this with some buddies, specifically a buddy. And when I told, gave him the lowdown on what I'm about to tell you, the first words out of his mouth, wow, propaganda. You're not going to believe this. Holly and Chris are Texans. And I'm going to tell you what they do, what they have done, and why they are disgraced. Fake news, propaganda on the Fox News channel. I'll tell you how in just a moment. Don't cut the stream because if you're not listening, you're not learning. RagingElephantsRadio.com. Okay, so in the first segment, we were talking about Jesse Waters and how Fox News on his program, Waters World, put up with what is considered to be propaganda, fake news. You want to talk about fake news, this is fake news. So I showed you this, this uh, portion of this video right here that aired on Sunday night, the last episode of Waters World. Reverse, I bet a lot of women told their It's, it's uh, a couple here, Chris it. and Holly Turner. There they are right there. You can see them right there yeah, again. I, when I heard this or anytime and I nobody knows who they like are. Waters didn't look. Oh, look, there it is. Chris Turner identified only as a Trump voter. That's all you see. Chris Turner, Trump voter. Holly Turner, Trump voter. That's all they are identified as. First and foremost, Saints and Patriots, Holly and Chris Turner are from Texas. Now, I don't know if they still live in Texas, but they are from Texas. Both of them. Holly Turner was born in Seguin. You to and at one Donald point, Trump? they lived yeah, in Fort Worth, and we'll get, it, really get to that in a scene. moment. You know, I, I but they, they have been embroiled what... in all types of controversy, political controversy, here in Texas. Chris and Holly Turner are Straussians. They are political consultants, and they are the dirtiest type of political consultants. They're nasty. They're dirty. They're the kind that Joe Strikes, Joe Strauss likes. And they've handled some of the most rhinoceros candidates or office holders that are under the pink dome right now. But Jesse Waters didn't reveal that to you. He didn't tell you these are disgraced political consultants. And we have them posed as Trump supporters, married Trump supporters, when in fact they are Texas GOP political operatives of the worst kind. Oh, they're an attractive couple. Holly has always been an attractive lady. I think I've only met Chris once or twice. That's it. When she ran for office, yes, she has run for office and I'm going to get into that. But, the, but, but what is so troubling here is that Fox News fair and balanced, trustworthy news source. I know it's infotainment, but there needs to be some honesty, some transparency. Chris and Holly Turner are disgraced. 
Chris and Holly Turner have been sued over their political activism. Holly Turner has run for office in a very controversial, heated, bare knuckle brawl uh, fight for state representative back in 2010. But you don't get any of that at all from Jesse Waters. Nothing from Jesse Waters about that at all. Just suburban Trump voters put on there on Waters World to refute Barbara, B-A-R-B-R-A, Barbara Streisand and her comments about women voting the way their husbands vote. How did they find these two people? Where did they come from? How did they get connected with Fox News? How did they get connected with Jesse Waters? And why wouldn't Waters World, that staff, because they have staff, not know who they are? Did they do a background check on Chris Turner and Holly Turner? Did they do a background check? Why would you put them on the air when they're disgraced? What did Holly and Chris do? I've got some news articles here. And I'm going to tell you exactly, exactly the type of dirty politics they play. Hang around. And then right after this next segment, I'm going to bring Tracy in. But you've got to hang around and find out what they got sued over. Why in the world are these people even still working in Texas politics? Because they are. They still work in Texas politics. Okay, so in the first segment, we were talking about Jesse Waters and how Fox News on his program, Waters World, put up with what is considered to be propaganda, fake news. You want to talk about fake news? This is fake news. So I showed you this, this uh, portion of this video right here that aired on Sunday night, the last episode of Waters World. Reverse. I bet a lot of women told it, their it's, it's a, a couple here, Chris it. and Holly Turner. There they are right there. You can see them right there yeah, again. I, when I heard this or any time and I nobody knows who they like are. From Waters didn't. Or look, oh, look, there it is. Chris Turner uh, identified the only the as a home. Trump voter. That's all you see. Chris Turner, Trump voter. Holly Turner, Trump voter. That's all they are identified as. First and foremost, Saints and Patriots, Holly and Chris Turner are from Texas. Now, I don't know if they still live in Texas, but oh, yeah. they are from Texas. Okay. Oh, both of them. So Holly Turner the was born in Seguin. Convinced you to and at one Donald point, Trump? they lived yeah, in Fort Worth. And we'll get, it, really get to that in a moment. You know, but they, they have been embroiled in all types of controversy, political controversy, here in Texas. Chris and Holly Turner are Straussians. They are political consultants, and they are the dirtiest type of political consultants. They're nasty. They're dirty. They're the kind that Joe Strikes, Joe Strauss likes. And they've handled some of the most rhinoceros candidates or office holders that are under the pink dome right now. But Jesse Waters didn't reveal that to you. He didn't tell you these are disgraced political consultants and we have them posed as Trump supporters, married Trump supporters, when in fact they are Texas GOP political operatives of the worst kind. Oh, they're an attractive couple. Holly has always been an attractive lady. I think I've only met Chris once or twice. That's it. When she ran for office, yes, she has run for office, and I'm going to get into that. But, the, but, but what is so troubling here is that Fox News, fair and balanced, trustworthy news source, I know it's infotainment, but there needs to be some honesty, some transparency. Chris and Holly Turner are disgraced. Chris and Holly Turner have been sued over their political activism. Holly Turner has run for office in a very controversial, heated, bare knuckle brawl uh, fight for state representative back in 2010. But you don't get any of that at all from Jesse Waters. Nothing from Jesse Waters about that at all. Just 
suburban Trump voters put on there on Waters World to refute Barbara, B-A-R-B-R-A, Barbara Streisand and her comments about women voting the way their husbands vote. How did they find these two people? Where did they come from? How did they get connected with Fox News? How did they get connected with Jesse Waters? And why wouldn't Waters World, that staff, because they have staff, not know who they are? Did they do a background check on Chris Turner and Holly Turner? Did they do a background check? Why would you put them on the air when they're disgraced? What did Holly and Chris do? I've got some news articles here, and I'm going to tell you exactly, exactly the type of dirty politics they play. Hang around, and then right after this next segment, I'm going to bring Tracy in. But you've got to hang around and find out what they got sued over. Why in the world are these people even still working in Texas politics? Because they are. They still work in Texas politics. Fox News engaged in straight up 100% propaganda. Fox News and Jesse Waters engaged in 100% fake news. They could at least be more transparent. They, true, they, they're married. True, they voted for Trump. But this is staged. Straight up staged. And they should be ashamed of themselves. I'm going to tell you what the Turners did when we get back. Raging Elephants Radio, the rebellious voice of Texas Liberty. Now we're talking about Chris and Holly Turner. They are a dastardly couple. They appeared on Waters World this past Sunday to refute Barbara, 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 Barbara Streisand's incendiary comments. Women only voted for Trump because their husbands told them to. Back in 2012, Chris and Holly Turner got sued by Michael Quinn Sullivan and Empowered Texans. As you know, one of the monikers for Empowered Texans are Texans for Fiscal Responsibility. It may be their original name, and they are the creators of the Fiscal Responsibility Index. Well, as political consultants, here in Texas, Chris and Holly Turner, the married Trump voters that were on Waters World this past Sunday, created a pack, a phony pack, if you will, called Texans for Fiscal Accountability. So MQS and Empowered Texans sued them for trademark and brand infringement, and eventually it was settled with an apology from Chris Turner, Holly Turner. The PAC was set up. The PAC was set up by Holly Turner and her brother. Her brother actually acted as treasurer of this faux PAC. So then they're going to use the PAC to send out endorsements for their candidates with a name similar to Texans for fiscal responsibility. Instead, the endorsement is coming from Texans for fiscal accountability. In fact, heading into 2012, as this article says here in Texas Tribune, some of the uh, Chris Turner, they had a the, 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 the consulting firm was known as Murphy Turner, Murphy Turner, political consultants, Murphy Turner. And so Chris Turner and Holly Turner, Chris Turner is the partner in Murphy Turner, the political consulting firm. And so Murphy, the Murphy and Murphy Turner says, I don't know anything about this. I'm not involved in this. Some of the candidates handled by the consulting firm, handled by Chris Turner and his wife, Holly Turner, were deposed just before the 2013 legislative session on the actions of Chris and Holly Turner, the ones who were propped up 
and stage for this Waters World segment. So they got caught red-handed and had to admit to it and apologized. They went to court. Chris Patty got deposed. Cecil Bell got deposed and others. Let's see who else. Here's the article right here. Chris Patty, Cecil Bell, Ken King, uh, and one, one of the guys that lose that lost Steve Wynn. And so you had all these attorneys, these prominent attorneys that got involved, Trey Trainer, Joe Nixon, Lawrence Kurth. Those are heavy hitters when it comes to Texas politics, legal politics, and they got in on the side of MQS, and they were going after Chris and Holly Turner. Another controversy the Turners were involved in. Holly Turner ran for state representative back in 2010. In fact, that's when I first met Holly Turner. And she went up against Paul Workman, who was defeated just this last November 6, 2018 election. And it was a not knockdown, drag out primary with three Republicans in it. And Workman went after her and she went after Workman. They were going to be the two top vote getters. Holly Turner ac accused Workman of voting Democrat in the Democrat primary, which he did in 1994. It's 2010 at that time. 1994, Workman did vote Democrat. Hey, the last time I voted Democrat was 1992. But then Workman came back and accused Holly Turner of taking a homestead exemption in Fort Worth when she's running for office in Hayes and Travis County. And so Workman accused Holly Turner of being a carpetbagger because she, although she was born in Seguin, she and her husband met and lived in Fort Worth and she had just moved into the district just to meet the resident, residency requirement to run for office in Texas. So Workman, op research based on a statement that Holly Turner made in public, did research and found out that Chris and Holly Turner had some sort of swanky condo up in Fort Worth and that Holly Turner was still taking the homestead exemption. Well, Workman was wrong. Actually, it was her husband, Chris. The condo was in his name, but they were still taking the homestead exemption, although they still they lived in Austin. And their claim was, hey, we're trying to get the, the condo off the market, blah, blah, blah. It's been on the market for quite some time. Uh, you know, we don't live there anymore. Well, Workman eventually, as you know, won Holly Turner lost. Bob's Voices in Power talks about the close ties. Our, our Alice Linehan of Voices in Power. Back in the 2012 election, Rick Perry hired Chris Turner, Holly Turner, Murphy Turner to do some work on his campaign. Strauss tossed them money to handle some of his candidates. That's who Chris Turner and Holly Turner are. That's who they are. And Waters World, Jesse Waters, didn't tell anybody where they're from. Now, uh, uh, Murphy Turner, the political consulting firm, when they did all this dirty work, they did a lot of dirty work for these Straussian candidates. It, you can't, they just played dirty politics. They would just, they just play bare knuckles, dirty politics, win at all costs. That's who Chris and Holly Turner are. And Jesse Waters didn't put on who they are, where they came from, that they are disgraced. Murphy Turner as a political consulting firm is now defunct out of business. And Holly and Chris have started their own new consulting firm known as Stampede Consulting. Can you believe that? How dare they? How dare they? Because they're Republican consultants and they have an elephant head as their logo. CEO is Chris Turner, CFO, and general counsel, because Holly is an attorney, is Holly Turner. And they have offices in Austin, it says, D.C. Maybe that's why they had the White House in the background, because they do say they have offices in D.C. on their website in Nashville and somewhere else. Austin, D.C., Nashville, and somewhere else. That's who Chris and Holly Turner are. Disgraced Republican Straussian political consultants. Waters World either did the background check, 
didn't care and put them on anyway, or they didn't do a background check, and then put on disgraced political Straussian consultants to do some propaganda. The whole thing was staged. Fox should be ashamed of themselves. Jesse Waters should be ashamed of himself. This is why you listen to Raging Elephants Radio, because, well, I know it all.